so guys uh, things are getting worse in the northern parts of the country it's getting worse we have a lot of crimes going on all over the country but it's getting worse in the north because of this uh, bandits here and there fulani esme here and there and they are just being left to do whatever they want to do it's like the security agencies are also overwhelmed or they are not giving them order there's no order from above for them to go and tackle them because we've been hearing such for some time now and people begin to wonder that how can this group of people be more powerful than the nigerian army the nigerian police if they come together well your guess is as good as mine and we are being condemning jungle justice which is not the right thing if anybody does anything if the masses or the residents of that particular place if they are able to get hold of that person you hand over the person to the police but you know what people have not really found out that by the time you even hand them over to the police especially when it comes to the issue of these bandits and the s-men especially full and the s-men you will not get justice they will release them you will see that they will release them just like that we are witnesses to what has been happening in this country and now if the police or the security agents will continue to do that you see that the rise of jungle justice we will be so high we'll be there angry sokoto state residents now born suspected kidnappers to ashes at uh, ile la town center you can imagine because ordinarily they are not supposed to take laws into their hands uh, but you know how these people have suffered enough that even the worst part of it is that even the government is not doing a, a, a program which whether they have even put it in the constitution is a different thing altogether but that is what they are doing now they will tell you that they are repentant in Boko Haram once they commit any atrocities now tomorrow they will tell you that they have repented and they are telling you that it is internationally accepted according to what the government is, is trying to tell us you see how they are playing rubbish game with themselves so why do you think that jungle justice will not say will not take place why do you think so they always quote that section oh the responsibility of the government is to do this to protect lives to protect the properties of the people we are doing that this and this and this and that but in reality they are not doing that they are not doing that so what do we call this now that the angry shikoto states resident born suspected kidnappers to ashes before you know it they'll begin to arrest people if they are going to do that they'll begin to arrest people am i against jungle justice i condemn it but on the other hand let's look at it we all know the nigeria system is corrupt they may hand over these kidnappers to the police and two days later they will be released so i don't blame the people i blame the government for not restructuring the system nevertheless jungle justice is bad in terms of killing innocent citizens this is one nigeria for you end it now to save lives these people get arrested and don't even get charged in the court in the name of repentant bandits and terrorists what are you telling the people that they all could kill each other and ask for forgiveness let me be honest there is no rule of law just government way of doing things and it's even disgraceful very very disgraceful my condolence to the government for losing two suspected bandits because they are their children. They should have allowed them to become repentant kidnappers. Good job. Jungle justice is so bad. Why not let the appropriate authority handle the issue and make thorough investigation? May their soul, souls rest in peace. You think so? I'm totally against jungle justice, but it's high time those people take justice with their hands. And since uh, since appropriate authorities we end up forgiving without punishing them and you that you have you are victims that you are there maybe they must have done one thing or the other to you government is not going to take care of you a lot of them that are still alive that they are that have been wounded where is the hospital that is going to be treating them no there's no hospital even if you go and treat yourself the government will not even pay for you you are going to pay for yourself your family members will begin to rally around to know to get money for you to be treated if you are not even killed the government is not even doing anything they just go and keep these people in idp idp camps and and they are not making effort to make these people to make sure that this a lot of what they say people in the idp camps to return to their homes they are just there you can imagine in benway state alone over million a million people 
1.5 million people in the in the IDP camps. And they are not doing anything about it. And a lot of people are going in there, going in there. And the worst part of it is that they still go to that IDP camp to go and chase the people, to go and attack them. The questions of people are asking, if the government is feigning ignorance, the, all, the places that they have displaced the, the indigenous people of that particular community, who are the people who are taking over there? Is it not the same Fulani? Fulani that are taking, taking over. Why is it that they cannot go there and say, why must you leave these people? Why must you displace them from their own community? You want to tell us they don't they cannot reason like that if there's no if there's no agenda at this point in time are you going to be saying Obasan just said it but just that is is playing to the gallery the same man telling us a one Nigeria you said there's fulanization which we can see you are confirming what Namde Kano has been saying now the governor of Benue State is now on the on uh, 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 doing the crusade campaigning for that as well they have started defending themselves I hope they can sustain the temple. Long overdue, anyone against jungle justice to Boko Haram is a member of Boko Haram and may Boko Haram visit them with their fair justice. One Nigeria, we must save Nigeria. Jungle justice is welcome since so-called repentant Boko Haram and bandits are empowered and giving scholarship and innocent citizens left empty-handed. That is what they're supposed to be doing so, so that not we be we still be good when be our friends is going yes the better wake we have no government they have to wake up we have no government justice now could find in justice jungle or jungle justice more of this enough is enough people are without choice yeah justice or jungle justice is allowed in the north because the government as the sponsor of the bandits and our justice system is so corrupt the is it the chief of defense staff, Irabo, Lucky Irabo, warning the police so people that don't involve yourself. We don't want you to do to take laws into your hands, but you are not doing your job. The job that you are being paid, you are not doing it. They should open their eyes and begin to kill them. You just go there and begin to say, Oh, we, we condemn, we condemn. How many of them have you arrested? Even your own people that are that were kidnapped, how many of them have you been able to rescue? You can't even rescue yourself. You want to fight for other people. That is a signal. They burnt an innocent businessman. Nigeria government is coming for them. Okay, according to Erufai, that these uh, kidnappers, the bandits, they are just doing their business. They are not threats to national security. They are not, according to them. No repentant kidnappers. Hmm. Now, wow. I will be glad if only the person, the lynch, is actually a kidnapper. So, guys, let's hear your opinion and have your take on this.